Welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. If you're watching, if you're, if you're watching this video today on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you would stop right now and click on the like button next to the video. Okay. Let's come down here to the U.S. now. Again, the U.S. is also a, a, a rolling 365-day window. So let's just take a look at the vaccine roll-up program for uh, for the U.S. right now. So we can see that the U.S. has administered 519.3 million doses. Of those doses, uh, so January 9th has, a, uh, has administered 246.8 million do uh, people who see the first shot. 206 million people have been fully vaccinated. And currently, 74.1% 71, of the population have received the first shot. And 61.8% have been fully vaccinated in the U.S. So those numbers are looking up a little bit. The question is, do those numbers uh, translate into... Uh, well, those numbers translated into lower cases and deaths, or certainly lower deaths, okay? <laughs> Virtual chicken nuggets. So again, we're looking at the previous 365 days worth of data. Okay, so that should mean that Okay, it does, good. So, let's come back up here now. So you can see for the previous 365 days, the U.S. is at 37.7 million cases, 458,629 uh, deaths. We can see that cases are already starting to creep up. This is, this is well, this is uh, 5 million cases. We're two weeks into the month, and we're 5 million cases. Uh, the quarters, now, the good news is the quarter is still the well, you know, the, 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 uh, you know the, if you look at it, we're halfway almost here. And we're only at, we're only two weeks into the month, into the, into the quarter, okay? Because this is the first quarter of 2021 for cases. Okay, monthly cases, uh, again, uh, January 2020 is not looking good. That's all right. The second most month. Uh, uh, it's the second most month for cases in, in the pre, in the last 12 months. Okay. You can, again, you see these two big spikes here. Although it look, looks like this week may begin to be slowed down a little bit. So we could go through an endless cycle of, of variance and uh, and the endless cycle of spikes and dips. Uh, I guess. Okay, that's, that's the question we should be asking ourselves. So now let's, let's look at the daily cases here. So you can see that the death spiked here on, or cases spiked here on January 3rd at 1.1 million cases. But now that number has fallen all the way back down to 307,208. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna overreact to case, to case numbers at all, okay? Because according to Washington University's Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation, the single best measure of a pandemic, spread of a pandemic, is daily deaths, not cases and not hospital deaths. So don't panic over these over the latest cases. What matters is how many deaths are coming out of these cases. Okay? Because you can see as of January 9th, we are averaging 517,294. Okay. What about deaths? Deaths are looking pretty low right here, okay? Okay, and this is quarter. So you can see that the, 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 the numbers for the deaths for the first quarter are looking pretty good, okay? What about monthly deaths? Well, again, you can see uh, January's deaths are gonna be, are, are probably gonna finish below these numbers right here, I'm guessing, okay? What about the weekly deaths? Again, you can see we, we don't have this big spike in deaths as, as we had in cases, all right? So what about the actual 
numbers for today, the actual deaths. We're averaging, as of January 9th, we're averaging 6,558 deaths per day. But on January 9th, the deaths had fallen all the way down to 330 people. Now the question is this, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., roughly how many people are, have COVID-19? Well, on average, about, about 200, which is a big climb up from back down here, of course. But just the, the, we don't want to panic over the, over, the, over the spikes again, okay? So you can see here that uh, these are cases per capita, all right? Well, they drop back down. To, so right here, what, that's that's tens, hundred thousand. So right now, we're every, uh, roughly one, one two thousandth of a person, two thousandths of a person is dying for capita, has, has cases in America right now, okay? If that number's not crazy enough, you can see here that right now for every hundred thousand people, about one half of a person is dying from COVID-19. But of course you come down here and that number uh, drops all the way back down to one fourth of a person. Now. I'm not even sure what this number is, but it's not a very big number per capita, okay? So that does include, so be careful, don't allow yourselves to be misled by things like total cases and total deaths, okay? Because to, what, total cases and total deaths can do one thing and one thing, two things. They can go up and they can flatten out, but they will never go down. That's why the news media and the, and the administration likes to use those numbers, because you know what? It's only going to get worse, okay? It's only going to appear to get worse, okay? So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by, America. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, the favor is click the like, stop right now, click the button, click the like button next to the video, okay? So thanks so much for your time today, America. Now, we'll catch you uh, tomorrow with a new and updated report. Let's see.